Hey, my friends, Derek from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So yesterday I told you about Moses and how the Lord translated him because of his goodness. But before Moses die, dies, like we said, Moses gives a wonderful repetition of the law in this book called the book of Deuteronomy. Now, let me just show you something here. So the book of Deuteronomy, the way I look at this, I guess, is again, it's a repetition of the law. It's the fifth book of Moses. It is the conclusion of this whole crazy adventure of getting the children of Israel out of Egypt and into the promised land and all the craziness that went with that. So these are repetitions. They're things that are gonna actually sound very familiar to you. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of brand new things here, but I like to call this book Things Worth Repeating to the children of Israel over 3,000 years later, meaning the things then I think still have excellent relevance to us. Uh, in fact, Jesus himself loved the book of Deuteronomy, especially when you get into the temptations that he went through as he was getting ready to start his ministry, as Satan was trying to tempt him. Jesus quoted from the book of Deuteronomy all in effort to combat Satan. So Deuteronomy has a lot of value to the children of Israel, not only back then, but also today. So I wanted to do so because there's a lot of great verses. They, I've heard these referred to as like, you know, the vinyl letter or the the cross stitch pillow ones or ones you'll, you'll you know, put on your fridge or little memes or anything like that. So I wanted to do a little activity. I do this periodically. I'll do it probably once a year with my students. Sometimes I'll do it with my kids as well. We'll do this thing called verses versus versus and what it is is you kind of play it through let me show you kind of the bigger picture of this so you've got 16 verses almost like in kind of march madness bracket type of stuff so you go from the sweet 16 you go to the elite eight you go to the final four you go to the top two and then you go for the best one and so i'm going to provide for you a copy of this as well i'm just going to pop it in the google drive the link i'll put the link in the description of wherever you are watching this so you can go in and download Download this. You can use this with your family. You can use it with a Sunday school class, a seminary class, however you want to do it. But it's a valuable tool to be able to help you just hit a lot of the power verses. A lot of just really good power verses in the book of Deuteronomy. Let me show you an example how to kind of run this. So you go to this top left corner right here and you've got Deuteronomy 121. That is the first one in the corner. So you go to Deuteronomy 121. It's a wonderful verse. Behold, the Lord thy God hath set the hand before thee. Go up and possess it as the Lord God of thy fathers hath said unto thee, Fear not, neither be discouraged. I think that's a fantastic phrase that no matter where you're at, if you're a ch children of Israel getting ready to enter the promised land, or if you are today going and looking at the world that we live in, fear not, neither be discouraged. What a powerful phrase. So then in that same bracket right there, you have Deuteronomy 4.9, which says, Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them to thy sons and to thy sons' sons. Again, a great verse right there. So you got to kind of look at these two verses here and think, okay, Okay, for me right now in my life, and please don't feel like you're betraying one verse by choosing another one. I know as I've done this activity, I'll do it one day with one person, and then I'll do it the next day with the same person, and it ends up different. That's the beauty of scriptures, is they can mean different things to you at different times in your life. You could do this every day and come up with something different. It's just kind of a fun way to be able to see the power and the value of the scriptures in your life and how they relate to what you are going through at that time. So I just went through it, like I said, I picked these 16 verses that I would call power verses. But what you're going to do, like in that top bracket, like I showed you, you're going to see which one to you is the best of the two as far as what you need right now in your life. And then you play it on through to the next one. And then you go to that next little bracket underneath it where you've got Deuteronomy 4, 29 to 31 and Deuteronomy 4, 35 and 39. You do the same thing. You start playing it through and then start working your way in to where you find the one that is your favorite one. So take some time today and do that. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you some of these verses and I'm gonna play through and I'm gonna show you the ones that I picked and just a couple of them. I'm not gonna go through all 16, but I'm gonna go through just a couple of them that to me mean a great deal. And again, I would invite you as you're doing this, do this with your family and I 
I think you'll have a great experience with it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for sharing these messages. We love when you do that. And please, if you haven't already, go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel-themed socks at bombsocks.com. Godspeed. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.